reason you you insist on referring to it as a stupid wedding? Because Just ever since you proposed to me, you've been making cracks about how dumb it is and how silly these traditions are. I knew that. I knew that downright this downright was bothering her. As ridiculous as walking down the aisle or wearing a dress or even writing vows. Don't do me any favors. If you don't want to get married, let's just not. Let's just not get married. How screwed up is that? It's embarrassing about my own wedding. How is that even possible? I love... I'm not going to cry. My not crying. Not crying. I refuse. More than I have loved anything ever in my life. And how can I possibly be even the slightest bit uncomfortable putting that out in the world to see? And I realized uh, that that voice, that voice, it's not mine, it's yours, Dad. It's yours, and I'm done. I'm done listening to it. And I don't want that voice at my wedding, Dad. I don't want it there. And I don't. I don't want you there. There shouldn't be anyone there who is not 100% happy to be there. So if you can't get behind this wedding, and I mean really, really behind it, Dad. And I, I don't think you should come. And that's... Of course I want to marry you. I'd be crazy not to. <laughs> We've already spoken with Brandon and the twins about this, but there's something we'd like to ask you guys. Oh, they're going to ask him what I, I think? know how you would feel about uh, making this a more permanent arrangement. You mean, like, adopt us? We think you guys deserve a home, and we'd really like it to be ours. Are uh, you guys okay with this? There's enough to go around. I'm so happy right <laughs> so now. Yes? Yeah. Yes! 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 Oh, he knows. About Honduras, dummy? I'm gonna kill your sister. I didn't want to worry you if it didn't happen. But it looks like we're going. My grandma's getting worse. But I'll be waiting here until you get back. Unfortunately, them coming to live there is gonna make them brother and sister, and that's unfortunate. <laughs> I might not have gotten the outcome I wanted with the trial. I might not have gotten the justice I deserve, but... I I know what I deserve now. So. Is she going for it? I deserve to be happy. You're amazing. And kind. And smart. And beautiful. He's with Talia though, so it makes it feels bad. You deserve to have everything you want. Is Talia gonna see this? No oh god, yeah, there she work. is. Oh god, stop kissing. Stop. Oh god. Why do you gotta taint stuff? Yep. Oh, okay. Jude's gonna be mad. But at least it wasn't Talia. Promise. Yes, you will. Or you'll find some other way to ruin everything because that's what you do. But you don't just ruin things for you. You ruin them for me too. Because we're a package deal. You know they're not going to separate us. You act like you care about me so much, but you don't. You only care about yourself. You're selfish. Well, that's not fair. No, it's I'm so glad she's coming back to work next week. <laughs> uh oh. I'm guessing Lena didn't know that. Lena, what are you doing? Lena, what are you doing? I'm making my peace with it. I'm going to marry you. I'm going to marry all of you. The scar, the bullet, and the cop. Stephanie Marie Foster, you are a piece of work. But you're my piece of work. I accept you. Every single thing that makes you who you are from now until the end of time. I love you. 
You are the person I've been waiting for my whole life. And I am so proud to be standing up here in front of our friends and family to make sure they know just how lucky I feel to have found you and just how much I love you. Well, I think it's high time that somebody kissed somebody, don't you think? I mean, <laughs> She's going to be devastated when she finds out we are coming back. I knew that's what they were going to do. So you're right. I've been selfish. I'm sorry. I'm not going to be selfish anymore, okay? I promise. I want to dedicate this song to my moms. I hope you know how much I love you. So much that I took my nose ring out. <laughs> <laughs> Hip-hop hates me. Have you read the YouTube comments lately? Man, that's gay. Gets dropped on the daily. We become so numb to what we're saying. Is she doing sneaking away so they'll keep Jude? Was she gonna go with Wyatt? I mean, that's the only thing I can think of that, that she would do is leave with Wyatt. Not that they're together or anything, but... Where else is she going to go? How she thinks this is going to make Jude feel, though? His sister being gone. Bye. Take care, checkers. What are you doing here? I need a ride. Does Steph and Lena know you're here? No. I don't know, Kelly. Maybe you should just go home. Okay. Yeah, I'll just take a bus or something. Good luck, Wyatt. Drive safe. Okay, guys, so that was the end of episode 10 of season one of The Fosters, and um, this one had Lena and Steph's wedding, which I was really happy to see. Um, this show tried to make me cry a couple times, but it only went as far as my eyes watering up. A little bit came out, but not much. So, um... So it looks like uh, Steph went to her dad and told him that it was because of him and the things that he said over the, you know her lifetime was stuck in her head and so it was making her embarrassed of her own wedding. And I found that really sad. And she said she didn't want to be that. She didn't want that at her wedding. She wanted if you told him that if he's gonna come, he has to come. Because he's 100% behind the wedding. He didn't come. So I find that very upsetting. But it didn't let them ruin it. I mean, it never even like pointed that out. But he wasn't there. I didn't see him there. And I'm sure if he had shown up, there would have been a scene for it. Um, and they did it. So. Um, so Steph and Lena are now officially married. So that's great. I'm happy for them. Uh... Apparently, Talia and Brandon were back to are back together, um, which was okay. I I wasn't hating it. She being completely different from when we first saw her. Um, she even went as far as to ask Brandon to invite Kelly to wherever it was they were going, and uh, I thought that was great. But <sighs> Kelly made a move on Brandon, and um. I was happy, sad. I mean, I was happy that she made the move. This was a better time for that move. Um, nothing compared to the previous episode. But it was it was it was the right mood, I should say. Not maybe not the right time because he has a girlfriend. Um, but yeah. So Jude caught them kissing and got upset at Kelly, said she's selfish, she is always trying to ruin things. And, um, so she 
said that she wouldn't do it again and that she was selfish and that she wasn't going to be selfish anymore. And then she just like, takes off in the middle of the night. I hope she at least left a note, something. Um, but I don't agree with it because now how's Jude going to feel? He's going to feel like he's the reason his sister left, which is sort of true. But I don't want him to feel bad. He's just, you know, he's a kid and he wants a home. And con considering what happened with Liam, um, I'm sure he probably doesn't know, like, the circumstances, the real circumstances. At least I'm assuming he doesn't. I don't, I don't know if Callie would have told him about the rape or not. Um, but considering what happened last time she got with a foster brother, they got kicked out. And so he was afraid that's going to happen again. I completely understand that. But why didn't she deserve to be happy? She should. I mean, I was so happy that Lena and Steph asked them if they wanted to, like, stay there permanently. Which is something I had said that I hoped happened, like, earlier on in the episode. So, I don't know. I'm really sad. But she went with Wyatt to Indiana, because that's where he was moving to. Um, so, and I think the only reason why it took her was just so that she wasn't just walking the street or hitching a ride with some stranger. Because I think he figured, you know, she's going to do this whether I take her or not. So, might as well take her and protect her, you know, kind of thing. So, well, I guess we'll see what happens in the next episode, which I am going to watch next. So, I don't have to wait. <laughs> Um, but it was a shame, it was a shame that Callie told the truth in court, um, and nothing happened to Liam, which is what her lawyer said would happen, but I was hoping because of her speech that the lawyer, that the judge would see that, you know, this was the truth, but apparently not, so... I think the the law sucks for foster children. And I'm not saying all foster children are like Kelly, because they're not. But just because there are bad ones doesn't mean that there aren't good ones and they shouldn't be protected. And they're not being protected. It just really, really sucks. So, um, but Callie was glad that she... She told the truth, and I'm glad that she told the truth. I was proud of her. Lena and Steph were proud of her. And, uh, yeah, but now, now what are they going to think when, when they wake up and she's not there? She just took off. Oh, uh, I don't know. But, yeah, I really did enjoy this episode a lot. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, please give this video a like. If you have any suggestions on anything you would like to see me react to please leave that down below and i will see you guys in the next video bye